The C929, a long-range, wide-body aircraft entirely developed by China, has just reached an incredible milestone, ushering in a new era in the global aviation industry. No longer a project on paper, the C929 is a monumental leap forward, a powerful statement that China is ready to reshape the global landscape, directly competing with giants like Boeing and Airbus. So how powerful is the C929? How have Airbus and Boeing reacted? Let's find out. But first, what kind of aircraft is the C929? Following the commercial entry of the C919, China immediately set its sights on a greater goal, developing a wide-body aircraft with fully independent technology. The C929 is a long-range wide-body aircraft. With a capacity of 280 passengers and a range of up to 12,000 kilometers, this aircraft is designed to compete directly with the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, two of the most prominent wide-body aircraft in the market today. The C929 project was launched in 2015, when China's capabilities in wide-body aircraft technology were still limited. To overcome this challenge, COMAC partnered with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, jointly investing over 2 billion USD to develop a new aircraft under the name CR929. According to the initial agreement, China would bear the full development costs while Russia would provide technical support. The final assembly line was to be based in China, with the primary market targeting China, Russia, and the broader Asian region. This collaboration was initially seen as an ideal partnership. China contributed its large-scale manufacturing expertise and supply chain management, while Russia provided its strengths in materials, aerodynamics, and engine technology. All plans seem perfect, but the outbreak of the Ukraine war in 2021 pushed this collaboration into a deadlock. Many Russian aerospace engineers were reassigned to defense projects, causing delays in the development of the CR-929. While Shanghai had completed most of the technical milestones assigned to it, Moscow failed to meet its commitments. There were also rumors that the collaboration ended because Shanghai wanted to own Russia's engine technology, but this country refused. In 2022, Russia announced its withdrawal from the project. After Russia's exit, China decided to rename the project C929 and continued its independent development. While Russia still supplies some components, most of the design and manufacturing are now handled by China. Many were skeptical about whether Shanghai could complete a wide-body aircraft of international standards without Russia's technical support, given the complexity of developing such an aircraft. However, China surprised many by announcing the latest progress on the C929, catching the attention of Western observers. On February 20th, 25, COMAC revealed that the C929, a wide-body, long-range aircraft entirely developed by China, officially entered its flight testing phase. Notably, it is designed to international standards and holds independent intellectual property rights, marking a significant leap in this country's ability to manufacture commercial aircraft. After revealing plans to move this wide-body aircraft into its flight test phase, many Western media outlets stated that Boeing and Airbus are now facing a new, powerful competitor, backed by an industrial superpower. This is not just a technical advancement. Behind this aircraft lies this country's grand ambition to become a major player in the civil aviation industry on par with the US and Europe. So how powerful is the C929 really? What makes the West particularly interested in it? And does this aircraft have the potential to shake the dominance of Boeing and Airbus? Initially, many were skeptical, thinking that the C929 was just a larger version of the C919, a narrow body aircraft for domestic routes. However, when the technical specifications were released, experts quickly revised their opinions. The aircraft can carry up to 280 passengers and has a range of 12,000 kilometers, three times the range of the C919 and nearly double the seating capacity. While the C919 is a narrow-body aircraft with a single aisle, this jet is a wide-body, twin-aisle aircraft designed for ultra-long-haul international routes like Beijing, New York, or Shanghai, London. This Chinese wide-body jet is ambitious. It aims to directly compete with the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. In fact, in some aspects, the C929 shows impressive advantages. So, how does it outperform the aircraft from these two major manufacturers? Firstly, this aircraft is equipped with 10 core systems, including avionics, communication navigation systems, primary and secondary hydraulic systems, and advanced wings. 
These technologies not only enhance performance and safety, but also help optimize passenger experience and operational costs. Secondly, the use of advanced materials is another key highlight. The C929 incorporates 15% titanium alloy, on par with the Boeing 787, and more than 50% carbon fiber composite materials, which is more than four times the 12% ratio of the C919. This combination not only reduces weight and boosts flight performance, but also makes the C9291 of the most environmentally friendly commercial aircraft, aligning with the global trend toward eco-friendly aviation. Additionally, based on the internationally certified technical foundation of the C919 project, the C929 is manufactured with extremely high precision, featuring over 2.2 million components and 3,500 completed test sets. The aircraft is also equipped with a real-time monitoring system, allowing for a comprehensive tracking of its status throughout the flight, something many current aircraft models have yet to integrate. Thirdly, this aircraft cockpit incorporates advanced avionics technology, combined with multi-angle adjustable seating, smart lighting, and a flexible cabin space design. Among the nine suppliers of avionics systems, four are from China, indicating the country's growing mastery of aviation technology. Notably, Shanghai Aircraft Corporation plays a key technical role in the project. Notably, the C929 boasts a wingspan of nearly 65 meters, surpassing even the Boeing 787, requiring an incredibly high level of aerodynamic design and material durability. The cabin space is also a standout feature. With a width of 5.5 meters, this wide body jet exceeds both the Boeing 787 5.28 meters and the Airbus A350 5.34 meters. This promises a more comfortable experience for passengers, especially on long intercontinental flights. Finally, alongside its performance and technology, competitive pricing is the weapon that Comac holds to pressure Boeing and Airbus. With the tradition of delivering quality products at optimal costs, China is gradually shaping a calculated strategy to invade the global market, and this aircraft serves as a strategic trump card in this new phase of the aviation industry. But that's not all. The C929 is entirely developed by China. Previously, the West had put pressure on this country's aviation industry by restricting the supply of components for the C919, an aircraft that achieved about 60% domestic production and still relied on engines produced through a collaboration between the US and France. However, with the wide body jet, Shanghai has fully taken control of all core technologies from the aircraft's frame design to its engines. The most significant breakthrough for the C929 is the use of the domestically produced CJ2000 engine. Initially, the CJ2000 was designed for the C919, but due to concerns over stability and the certification process, Comac had not immediately implemented it. Instead, this aircraft will serve as the ideal platform for testing this engine, with test flights scheduled for 2029. If successful, this will be a major step forward for China, allowing it to fully break free from its reliance on Western technology and commercial aviation. The CJ2000 not only allows the C929 to gain full control over its propulsion system, but it also boasts impressive technical specifications. The engine delivers a thrust of up to 35 tons, comparable to the most advanced engines currently in use. Its fuel efficiency has been significantly improved, reducing operating costs while providing a quieter experience, enhancing passenger comfort. With a fan diameter of 3 meters and a total height of 4.55 meters, the CJ2000 is even larger than the 33-ton GENX engine used in the Boeing 787. Besides, the fuel consumption of the CJ2000 during cruise is lower than many international competitors, making the C9291 of the most cost-effective and high-performance aircraft on the market. Furthermore, it can reach a speed of 980 km per hour, operating with exceptional smoothness and significantly reduced noise, providing a clear competitive advantage when compared to the Boeing Dreamliner and Airbus A350. Thanks to these advanced technologies, the Chinese aircraft is not just a new aircraft model, but a strategic leap, marking China's ambition on the global aviation stage. From all the reasons above, it comes as no surprise that some Western media outlets have described the C929 as a direct competitor to the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. With a high level of domestic production and numerous technological improvements, 
this aircraft has the potential to reshape the global aviation industry, making it impossible for the West to ignore. China's aviation industry is rising rapidly, steadily asserting its position on the global aviation map. Recently, the regional aircraft ARJ-21 was officially renamed the C-909, marking the growth of the domestic civil aviation ecosystem. If the C-929 enters commercial service successfully, China will complete its own civil aviation landscape, no longer relying on the West. However, China's ambitions do not stop there. After the C-929, the country could go even further with larger aircraft such as the C-939 and C-949, potentially challenging giant aircraft like the Boeing 777X and Airbus A380. Recently, there has been buzz around COMAC's announcement of plans to develop the supersonic C-949, a highly ambitious project that could reshape the entire industry. According to plans, COMAC aims to launch the C-949 by 2049, featuring a two-deck, three-aisle design and a completely new supersonic structure, ushering in a new era of high-speed commercial aviation. Not only have there been bold declarations, but some sources have also revealed that COMAC has already sketched out the preliminary design of the C-939, a crucial step toward the next generation of wide-body aircraft. However, Turning these designs from paper into a flying prototype is still a long and challenging journey. But with the current momentum, this country has a solid foundation to make these ambitions a reality. At present, China has become the world's second largest economy with a massive domestic aviation market and exceptional growth rates. In the next 20 years, according to COMAC's forecast, the country will need at least 9,000 new aircraft with around 1,000 of them being wide body. If Shanghai continues to rely on Boeing and Airbus, it will face enormous costs and be constrained by Western technology control policies. Therefore, building an independent civil aviation industry is not just an option, but an inevitable path forward. With the C919 now in operation, the C929 soon to begin flight tests and the C939 in the research and development phase, China is steadily building a complete aviation ecosystem. Of course, Developing an aircraft is no simple task. From design, testing, certification, mass production, to maintenance and after-sales services, every step requires a solid technical foundation and a fully developed supply chain. But with each steady step, Shanghai is proving that it has the capability to conquer the heights of the global aviation industry. And if the C-929 successfully passes its flight test, it will send a strong message that China is not just a manufacturing powerhouse, but is on the path to becoming an aerospace superpower. But this is only the beginning. In the coming decade, larger, farther reaching, and faster aircraft like the C-939 and C-949 could very well become a reality, pushing this country deeper into the race against aviation giants like Boeing and Airbus.